Hi, Moritz Dani here, right from the Comprion HQ in Paderborn, Germany. In case you don't know about us, we are the first you should ask when it comes to test solutions in NFC, smartphone, eSIM and payments. So with that out of the way, let's start with today's question. How do you verify profiles for eSIM devices? More specifically, how do you verify them without preparing every single device that you need to test? Because most of the time, you need to install apps, fiddle with settings, or mess with network simulators, and so on and so forth. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can do it way faster and way easier. But before we start, we already made a video on how to check if a profile is complete and correctly set up. You might want to check it out. Just click the link up there. All right, first we need to download and enable the profile on the device that we want to test it with. And that's pretty easy because we can just use our own network. Okay, let's do it together. Go to settings, mobile network, carrier, and then we want to download the ZIM. And then scan the QR code. There we go. And, and there we go. So now that we got the requirements for the verification out of the way, let's jump into EYCC profile manager to compare the installed profile, the installed profile on our smartphone right now, with the original profile. So, let's have a look. Let's connect the EUYCC profile manager with our own network. First thing we have to do after we connect the EUYCC profile manager with our network is the selection of a configuration, which we can edit, by the way, in case we have to. Let's just for fun change this destination a little bit. Okay, and there we go. I mean, just a little bit. <laughs> Don't get too crazy here. <laughs> so now we scan the file structure of the installed profile. In this case, it would be this usem directory. And while we wait for the scan to finish, did you know that we have quite a bunch of videos in regards to EUICC profiles? You might want to check out the playlist in the description below. All right, and we're good to go. Let's compare the profiles. We just click compare and select the original profile. And there we go. We see the differences between the two files highlighted. And now that we know where the differences are, we can hop over to the profile creator and adjust it accordingly. And if you want to see that, just click on the video and see how we use the profile creator to debug a profile. So that is that. You don't need to prepare every single device in order to validate your profile. Just use the interface you know best, your own network. See you in the next one.